Hello viewers, I want to welcome you once again to another wonderful session. For today, we will be exploring a popular accounting application called Sage 50. I know you would love to be shown what it contains. Watch out. So this is the Sage 50 accounting application. So I can click this, double click, for it to come up. So all right, for this very um, brief session, I'll be taking you around Sage so you get to know what it is with an already created company, just as it was done on the previous video on Tally. Please, for those joining us who have not subscribed to this channel, do well to subscribe so you will keep enjoying our free accounting software videos. Trust us, every week we will be uploading videos from time to time, at least four days in a week, to ensure you're well guided. Thank you. So first of all, what is Sage all about? When you hear Sage 50, what does it do? A lot of times participants do ask this question. And such a question is very, very important. So for Sage 50 accounting, it is a computerized package that has numerous what? Features. You can call it numerous facilities or features. You can see them here. From the file, the edit, maintain. You can see over here on this icon area where we have um, vendors, purchases, inventory, payroll, and so on. So it is an accounting or computerized accounting package that has these features to process your financial information. Now, the search system, what it does is that it collects your information, classifies it, remember the definition of accounting, and then summarizes the data in an accessible way so as to allow the users of such information to view their financial information in simple or in a simpler manner okay so this is the sage 50 um, application which was formerly known as that of what page three for those who have always been updated okay so quickly for the sake of um, beginners we were not able to um, start from the very foundation so um, majorly for those who are accountants who are working with manual and um, already manual entry or who are using one application or the other and you want to get started with Sage, it's easy. I'll be giving you four basic steps on how to use Sage to work for your, uh, your business or your function. So first of all, you have to decide on a conversion date. What date do you want to start using Sage application from? This is very important. Secondly. You have to gather all the information you will need to impute here in Sage. Remember the data entry and the reporting portions of an accounting software. It's also applicable here in Sage. Okay? By gathering all the information, I mean the name, addresses of all your customers, your vendors, your employees, people who do business, who do things with your business. Okay? By also gathering all the information you will need, I am also referring to the beginning balance for your general ledger accounts, which you already have in the existing um, part and um, record which you're already taking. So you have to ensure that the beginning balance for all of them are also imputed in Sage, both for the customers, vendors, employees, jobs, inventory items, and all of this as of the conversion date, the day you're converting to Sage. Thirdly, when you've ensured that all these informations are in order, you've kept them with you, then you move straight open the Sage software and create, hit on the create a company and Sage will guide you because there's one good thing about Sage. One thing you should know about Sage is that Sage 50 was designed to guide you through the process of setting up a new company. That's one, you don't need to pay money to learn it. Once you open Sage software, you will be guided. There is a, like a demo that will be showing you what to do. So um, it's also going to explain each step along the way. It's like a road. Don't enter here, enter here, move through here. So Sage has been designed to guide you on all this. So the, 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 the easiest way to sign up is through that Sage setup guide. So the more you prepare for such a process, the smoother your transaction will be. And I can tell you that if you are currently using bookkeeping software, you may be able to convert your existing information to Sage 50 automatically without stress. Because here in Sage 50, there is a feature called the conversion feature just subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more videos we'll be uploading in this series to learn about this so ladies and gentlemen this is the sage 50 
um, software and environment and it's important to also inform you that right here that um, there are a lot of informations which I'm um, to round up this very session I will be pondering on some of them for example you can see above here we have file edit um, list maintain tax all those are known as the menu the menu bar so the the menu bar displays the file menu you can see the file menu there so we can see the file menu the edit menu the list menu the maintain menu so that's what the menu bar does it displays all of them for you okay and you know i will further explain this in detail in subsequent videos to come so please subscribe and stay tuned with us okay also we also have the business status you can be seeing that other part and wondering what is it all about those are the other menu and i normally call that the icon because they are all icons or logos you can see them here with each you know representing um, each of the features so this is very very important to take note of so please subscribe to this video stay tuned and um, the next videos we'll be uploading we will be explaining in detail how each of these um, menu functions and the list of items works and how C50 can best be applied in accounting thank you once again whether as an accountant or accounting student be rest assured in this channel you will be guided on all you need to know all we need from you is to subscribe stay tuned with us and watch out for more for our video uploads thank you once again i remain williams your lead instructor thank you